Happy Memorial Day. Just want to talk about not anything to do about Memorial Day, but stuff that I've seen lately on guy TikTok, I guess. So as for me, who is getting married, I am engaged. Um, I've been with this woman for four years, so we've had a lot of time to be able to communicate with each other. She knows I like video games. I know that she needs a lot of attention. That's just how it is. It's not a problem for me. It's not a problem for her. We both understand that we need those things. Just so happens that I kind of got her to get into some video games. Just some, though. There are some video games that she doesn't like, she doesn't get into, and that's okay. I see posts about guys who are, like, sneaking their way into their, like, little game room or their bedroom or whatever to play their video games. And they're like, oh, is my wife going to know? Oh, is she going to ask me for something? Yeah, that happens sometimes that I'm about to get on the game and then... I get called in to do something, or I gotta go do the dishes, or we gotta go out and do something. That's just how it is, man. That's living. That's just life, you know? And especially with me, I forget a lot of stuff. So maybe I just forgot that we actually had something going on, and I get on the game, and she's like, hey, um, we gotta go. We, we have things to do. And I'll be like, oh, whoops, yep, forgot about that. And then just get off. Now, I don't know if it's just me. Maybe I'm whipped or something, but I... I love this woman, <laughs> but I don't have a problem with just getting off the game because it's just a game. If I need time for myself, if I need to just play something because it helps, because I'll be like super tired at work and I don't really feel like watching TV, I don't really feel like playing a specific game that we both are playing, I don't feel like flipping through TikTok or, you know, watching a TV show or a movie or whatever, you know, whatever, sometimes I just want to play my game, you know? Sometimes I just want to get on, like, Fallout and just sit on Fallout because we're both on the couch and we both have the TV right right there. She loves it when I play Fallout, especially on, like, the weekends. And she could just lay on my lap. She just watches and I just play my game. And then she passes out and we just chill, you know? It doesn't have to be one of those things where you have to sneak your video games in. You just got to let them know, hey, I'm a gamer. I love playing video games. I need time to play video games at certain parts of the day, certain parts of the week, certain parts of the month, whatever it is. I think it's a problem with communication. I see this a lot in my friends. Like sometimes my friends or sometimes my uh, fellow employees will come up to me and they'll be like, hey, dude, like wh how come you're getting engaged and I've been in the dating scene for like 10 years and I can't get anybody I'd be like well what do you normally do when you're hanging out with somebody and like the most of the time there's no communication they're, they're just not talking about how they feel and how you know how it is for them you know if you got to play game there are certain moments that you have to sacrifice shit right like you can't play a game for seven hours straight when you know, you're supposed to, you're in a new relationship. How about that? In a new relationship, you shouldn't just be on the game with the boys for six hours straight. Because your significant other is whoever it is, man or woman, this, that, and the other thing, you know. They're going to want some attention. You got to give them that attention. I had a problem with that because I had spent like five years of no significant other or a person that um, was like flaky and like wouldn't really hang out. And so I was used to just sitting on the games whenever I got home from work and just chilling there and just doing that for hours on end because I didn't have anything else to do. But I now have somebody that I share my life with that I need to make sure gets the attention that they need. It's not a needy thing. It's not, oh, she's so needy, so now I can't play video games. No, I can play video games whenever I want. I just need to make sure that she has gotten her attention. And when she has, I can go play video games for a few hours, and then I come back. And then I can go play video games for a few hours, and then I can come back. Or I can let her know that I'm feeling something. Like, I just need some space, or I need to have some me time. And I just, the best thing is, look, our couch is here. And our TV's right there. 
We got the PS4. I get on some games on the PS4 so then I can still hang out with her. I make a compromise and I feel like there's just a lot of people that, or at least a lot of people on this app that I've seen that don't make that compromise, that don't talk to their significant other to be able, and, and it's always with video games. It's always like gamer dudes that are like, oh, I can't play my games. Oh, jeez, oh, it's because of this woman. Oh, it's because of this, this significant other that I'm with. Oh, I can't even play my video games. And it's like, dude, t first off, it's video games. And a lot of the time, the people that are doing that, they're playing like NBA or Madden or some bullshit like that. Like, it's just a game. Especially with something like that, you could just pause it. If you're doing like, you know, like a, like a, like the story or the career mode or whatever, just pause it, save it, and you're good. If you're doing like an online thing, you'll get the next game. That's what I do. I play Destiny 2, right? So I, I get into the Crucible. If I'm doing well, oh man, I'm doing well. And then she's like, hey, we got to go do something or will you hang out with me? Let's go watch a movie or something. I'll be like, okay. And then I get off because it's just a game. It's not my life, you know? She's my life. So, I guess long story short, if you're somebody who likes to play video games and you have a partner, their priority, not your video games. You should definitely keep an eye on them more than your video games. There are times that you're going to need your time for video games, of course, but let them know that. So then you can have your time but don't be on there for like 8 to 10 hours. Be on there for like tops 3. Be on there for like 3 hours, 4 hours. And you're like, okay, I had my fix. Now I'm going to go hang out with my partner. Easy peasy rice and cheesy, okay?